Hey folks, what's going on? So my name is Matt, and this should be the first episode of what I hope to be my new build project um, here on Nonstop Motorworks. And I wanted to give you guys just a quick preview, walk around of what we're going to be working on, and kind of the direction I plan on going. I haven't got all the details fully decided just yet, but a uh, quick little preview of what's to come, and uh, hopefully you find this interesting and follow along with the build. So... I've actually had this uh, bike laying around at a friend's shop for about a year now. Uh, finished the last build, and uh, my wife kind of suggested I probably shouldn't build any more bikes until I finish some other projects that are on the back burner. And uh, a friend of mine saw the ad on, I think, Facebook Marketplace and said, Oh, dude, this looks like something Matt would love to build. And so I can't say no if he bought it for me, right? So anyways, so we went and picked her up. Um, she's been sitting over his place because he's got a much bigger shop than I do. Um, this is the limits of my assembly space. Um, I do have a small machine shop out in the back. Um, so any of the pieces that I make are going to go back there to get fabricated and whatnot. And then uh, main assembly usually happens out here just because it's a lot easier to get the bikes out to the driveway from here. Uh, so anyways, what we're starting with here is a, a 1979 Yamaha XS750. That's right, a 750, not a 650. Um, this was a three cylinder. Uh, I believe they only produced them for a couple of years in the 78 to like 80 range, maybe. Um, they made them in special and uh, regular edition. Uh, it just mattered about the tank and some other stuff that really doesn't matter for this build because most of that stuff's going away. A uh, few little tiny interesting things. Uh, pretty typical for Yamaha and this style of bike for that period. Um, she's a shaft drive. Um, so right now, little teeny tiny skinny tire back here. And it's shaft drive. So I do intend to use the original engine. Uh, it's a three-cylinder, air-cooled 750. Um, I'm looking into possibly a uh, big bore and some forged pistons uh, because I have some I have some plans for the engine. Um, I'll uh, probably unveil those as I go because I don't want to shoot for the moon and not be able to get close. So we'll kind of talk about it as we as I get closer to working towards the engine. Um, but my plan for the rear of this is to ditch the little tiny skinny tire and potentially go with one of those. So wait a minute, a big fat tire with a sprocket on it on a shaft drive bike? That's not gonna fit. Well, that's probably the hope here is, uh, I think I can make a custom swing arm. I'm gonna try. Um, one of my goals for this bike is to, as close as possible, I wanna mimic um, a lot of the suspension geometry of a modern sport bike. I realize the frame's not gonna be as rigid, uh, without adding a lot of weight, because this is a steel frame. But um, I'm not looking to race. I'm not looking to uh, keep up with anybody on the track. I just want to make a, a good-looking bike that's actually got some performance capability as well. So um, uh, with the two tires I have over here, um, the wider one on the right there is a uh, Gixxer 1000. It's a 190, and this is off of a CBR 600. Uh, it's only a 160, so uh, if it comes down to a width limitation on where I'm building the swing arm, that might uh, be what makes the call. Um, the other reason I'm kind of leaning towards the 600 wheel is I have a matching front off of the same CBR 600. So at least with those two, I'd have a matching pair. Um, they're kind of a six-spoke design, whereas the Jixxer is just a three-spoke. Um, the other option is I just source the used Jixxer front wheel. They're easy enough to get a hold of. Oh, look, there's a preview of what's to come for this bike. Hmm, what could that be? So, <clears throat> anyways, uh, this is uh, day one. Um, probably not going to get a whole lot done today. Uh, I'll probably uh, leave this video off with just a description of, you know, kind of where we're going. And then, as I actually get some work done, I'll try and get some more footage as I build. That's probably my biggest problem with these builds is I hate running a camera while I'm trying to build things. So I'm trying to work on that because a lot of people have said they'd be interested in seeing some of the process of the bikes I build. Um, and along with that, I'm hopefully going to do some uh, walk around and recap videos of my other bikes that I've built. I uh, can't do that right now because they're not here. One's at the tuner getting on the dyno getting tuned and the other one is currently on display at a bar because um, it's, it's more of a display piece. It's not really something I want to ride every day. Anyways. Um, almost forgot to mention, uh, front suspension is getting a pair of, I those are 2006 Gixxer 1000, uh, front forks, um, along with the calipers. Uh, I also have, 
over buried in that pile of stuff, you can see there's a shock also from the rear of that Gixxer. Uh, I intend to use that here. My plan is to do a cantilevered rear suspension, uh, just like a modern sport bike. And I've got a miscellaneous pile of some uh, clip-ons and sprockets and levers. Most of that's probably not going to get used. Some of it might just be some tube stock that gets turned into other things. But I think the first thing on the agenda is going to be fabricating upper and lower triple clamps to mount those forks on this bike. Yes, I realize I could just use stock Gixxer uppers and lowers, and then there's people in the aftermarket that make uh, stems for it, but I have a machine shop in my backyard. Why wouldn't I just make them? Now I can create them however I like. Uh, the main f concern for me on the triple is going to be addressing steering stop. Um, I, I like the idea of it being adjustable, uh, at least until I get it dialed in, so I will probably uh, do some work on there to see if uh, see if an adjustable steering stop is even necessary. I might just leave it like it is um, when I make the triple and put just leave it to about the same amount of steering angle. A lot of it's going to depend on the tank shape, so the steering stops might come later on. Uh, still debating on whether or not to add a steering damper. Um, I, like I said, I don't plan on racing, but I know a lot of modern sport bikes come with it, and it seems like kind of a neat idea, so I might at least add provisions uh, to mount one later. Uh, obviously, the center stand's going to get ditched. The big clunky foot pegs you see are going to go away for some proper rear sets. Same with the levers. Um, I plan on running hydraulic clutch and brake. Uh, luckily, this one actually came with disc brakes, not that it really matters since I'm fabricating my own uh, swing arm and both of the wheels I'm opting to potentially using already have uh, brake rotors on them, so it shouldn't be a big issue. So anyways, um, one thing I'd like to hear back from anyone who actually watches this video, do you guys want to see the CAD CAM process and the process when I go to make parts? Uh, do you guys like to see the screen caps of the work of designing parts and or the machining of them when it's on the CNC, or would you rather just say, hey, look, here's a picture of the idea I want to make, and then presto, hey, there's a part. So uh, feel free to leave a comment what you guys would like to see. I'll probably do a little of both at first just to kind of get a feel for it as I move forward in the channel. Uh, anxious to hear people's feedback on whether that's something that's interesting or most people just kind of snooze through it. Anyways, um, this is the current project. Still don't have a name for it. Kind of have some ideas where we want to go. Um, I'm really thinking that I want to do a lot of modern electronics. Um, I've got, uh, got some ideas like RFID uh, key, or uh, going to do carbon fiber for the tail and fender and tank, and LEDs obviously for all the lighting. So anyways, please stay tuned. Uh, if you're interested in following this build, subscribe, and drop a thumbs up if you're interested and you like this video. Cool. Thanks.